I'm Anna Paquin. I play Sookie Stackhouse, and this is... I'm Joe Manganello, and I play Alcid. So, Joe, <laughs> how are you enjoying being a werewolf? <laughs> um, well, you get cast as a werewolf or a shapeshifter on True Blood, and the first thing that goes through your mind is, I'm going to be naked. So, so how's uh, that affected your life? <laughs> I've now been initiated into the Brotherhood of the Sock. Yes. So, and I'm not talking about socks on your feet. Um, so running around in broad daylight with a... Sock. Well-placed sock while kids are coming home from school is, I guess, par for the course around here. And having to do some physical action in said sock? Mm-hmm, in said sock. I think I've run after and grabbed every single woman on the show. <laughs> oh, where will say hello? Run and jump and grab. <laughs> Yeah, and I think I was, well, I was initially supposed to tackle you yes. as the mm -hmm. ultimate werewolf hello, but mm -hmm. that was deemed too... Aggressive. Aggressive. So Possibly we, because of the size differential. Yeah, I am kind of giant on the set. I hear it's a real problem for, for, for people who are so good looking and tall. It's hard to find jobs. Yeah. Do you get climate. told that you're too good looking and too butch for your jobs? Not by Alan Ball. <laughs> Apparently, we're supposed to have chemistry. How is our chemistry? I don't know, Joe. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. We didn't have a chemistry read. <laughs> Does this mean that <laughs> they were so sure of it, or that uh, it was just a lost cause? I think the first, the first time <laughs> Alcid shows up, it says Suki goes to the door, opens the door, looks up, and has to look up again. <laughs> And then there's this giant unshaven guy. And he with... just described my entire <laughs> shooting experience. The only person who I act with on an Apple box and still have to crane my neck out. But I think one scene me. they actually put me on an Apple that box. That was just too. mean. <laughs> now, I have a question for you. Yes. Where do you keep your Oscar? It's on top of a fireplace. How heavy is it? Nine pounds. Are you aware that my mother has seen the piano? More than any other person on the planet. You you have mentioned this a few times, and I feel like I have a personal relationship with your mother because of this, because she keeps saying hi to me through you. She does. Which I think is very sweet. <laughs> and I keep saying hi back. She does, and she appreciates it. <laughs> <laughs> so now, you are no stranger to werewolves. No. I played a werewolf, too. Yeah, she's played I did, a werewolf. Yeah. yeah. I did this movie called Trick or Treat, and I do turn into a werewolf and eat Dylan Baker, which was really good. So, I've got werewolf cred, too. Have you met your wolf? I have. Uh, my wolf is named Thunder. Mm -hmm. uh, he's, Color. He's, he's, yeah, he's a golden colored timber wolf and he's huge. And he's got these crazy yellow eyes. And he's the grouchiest wolf and growls at all of the other wolves and bites them in the face when they are paid attention to. How do you feel that they chose the grouchiest wolf? To be uh, your wolf. Well, as they were what describing does that, <laughs> What does that say about their character interpretation of Alcide? I think Alcide? they hit it dead on, pretty much. <laughs> Alcide's really sad because Debbie, Debbie just didn't him. work out and she left. And uh, when Suki meets Alcide, she's all lonely and sad because Bill's been taken and he's all big and strong and wolfy. And so, I don't know, two crazy kids. Low. Lonely. <laughs> <laughs> what more do you want us to say? <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and uh, tune in to season three of True Blood. Bye. Bye.